Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Optima and you're trying to find where your main starter fuse is located. Stay with us, we'll explain that. It's actually hidden and it's part of a big fuse. We're going to explain which one it is and all that and we'll explain how to test fuses as well. But now guys, if you have problems with your Kia Optima not starting, it could be a fuse for the ignition switch, for ignition key solenoid or start and stop switch fuse as well. And we'll have all these fuses the videos will be on our channel so please check them out these guys should work on kia optima guys generation 2010 all the way to 2015 some years may differ but most of them will be that way also let me tell you quick uh, if you have that uh, kia optima guys we'll have more than 200 free electrical and diagnostic videos on this channel you're watching right now it's called electrical car repair life and we'll be having more than 300 mechanical videos taking the whole engine apart transmission apart on our youtube channel world mechanics guys okay world mechanics right here check it out uh, very helpful information will be shared there everything from start to finish videos that will teach you how to practically rebuild your engine in addition if you need to buy any parts tools anything like that we'll share the link in the description of the video below for your convenience why we make all these videos because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can let's start on it now so if you come inside the vehicle next to the food well you can see that fuse box okay right here remove that cover and that's where the fuses are so this is guys okay your engine compartment of your kia optima if you come on the right side okay right here we have a fuse box okay that's a fuse box guys that you need okay you have one tap here one there squish and pull straight up okay on the back side you have the fuses listed but what we actually did guys okay uh, we tried to actually take a picture and zoom it a little bit so we can show you with a greater detail and uh, the layout here okay corresponds to what we have specifically here guys the fuse okay now that we need to check guys for that engine starter okay it's uh, you actually have two fuses that you need to check one of them is b plus two guys ip b plus two it's that eight uh, 60 amp fuse so that fuse is part of that multi fuse guys it consists of i think of eight fuses one two three four five six seven eight so the very right one okay right here that fuse that's for the engine starter you can see through the glass it's burned or not but i'll recommend to test them now how you do that we have a special video that explains how to test the fuse in just a few seconds but if you want to see how to test a multi fuse we'll have the video as well and we'll put the links in the description of the video below you will need to disconnect your engine battery guys disconnect it on these modern vehicles it matters which battery terminal you disconnect and reconnect first because if you do it the wrong way what can happen you can damage your computer electrical system modules and that can be really costly repair so uh, we have a video that explains which battery terminal you need to disconnect and reconnect first and we'll put the link in the description of the video below then disconnect the fuse remove that nut here okay you have one clip okay right there you spread that one out and you can pull the fuse out and test it now uh, another thing you have one more fuse that you need to check guys okay it's known as ign number one so if you come right here it's a 40 amp fuse okay and uh, uh, somebody put actually a 30 amp fuse on that car guys okay so make sure that you have a 40 amp fuse uh, sp uh, always consult your manual guys okay and uh, on the back side of fuse cover you'll be able to see w uh, what amperage you need but in our case they put the wrong fuse and uh, that's what's causing okay that fuse to blow so that's another fuse that's for the ignition guys check this one out as well uh, those are the two for the engine starter hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time